Hi, my name is Ambo and I'm eight years old. My name is Ashley and I am seven years old. My name is Tyson, I am eight years old. My name is James and I am eight years old. My name is Claire and I am eight years old. We are going to be talking a little bit about Roald Dahl and his wonderful collection of books. Now I've asked Ashley to pick her top five favorite books from the Roald Dahl collection. Let's go five to one, okay? So what is your fifth choice? It's called Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator. It's your trap. My fifth favorite is Twits. The magic finger. Fifth favorite one is the Twits. And what is SEO Trot spelled backwards? Tortoise. Tortoise! Yes, the story is about a little tortoise. If you could have any pet in the world, what would you like to have? I would like a puppy. Oh, you would like a puppy? Because if I drop food, it licks it away so I don't have to clean it. Because oh. the monkeys just made the Twits believe that they were upside down. Yeah, they it kind of gave the twits a taste of their own medicine, right? Yeah. Yeah. If you had a magic finger, what kind of superpower would you want it to have? Would you want it for something good or for something evil? Evil. Evil? What would you want to happen if you pointed your magic finger at someone? Turn it into a tree. Oh, hey, that's a good one. That'd be a pretty cool superpower. Okay, what's number four? Number four? I'll choose Billy and the Limpins. James and the Giant Peach. James and Brad and the Billy and me. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I like Matilda because Matilda was born in a, like, a family who doesn't care about her. I like how she still sh had a strong mindset and she like won't give up on trying to ask her dad for education and asking her dad for books. James and the Giant Peach. Why do you like this book so much? Because at the end, it is a happy ending. Yes, even though in the beginning, was James James treated very fairly? No, his no? mother and father died. So unfortunately, he didn't have a really good start, but at the end of the book, it's a good ending, right? Uh -huh. Yes. Third favorite book by Roald Dahl. What was that book? I will choose the witches. Mm, it's the magic finger. My third favorite, Billy and the Minpins. The BFG. My third favorite is the witches. BFG. What did BFG stand for? Big Friendly Giant. <laughs> Good job. The Big Friendly Giant. Magic finger. What does the girl's magic finger do to the family that's not very nice? She points at them and then I kind of zap. Like lightning jumps out of her finger. Mm -hmm. And then that turns the family? Have duck wings. Yes, they get turned into ducks. Did you want to get turned into a duck? Nope. If you had a magic finger, what would you like for it to do? Let Ukraine people free. Very good, that's amazing, that's excellent. Yes, we should always try to use our magic powers for good. But number two for your favorites in the Roll Doll Collection. Esso Trot. Big, friendly, giant. My second favorite is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and the Great Glass Elevator. Fantastic Mr. Chicken Box. A fantastic Mr. Fox. My second favorite is Esso Trot. I like it because I like how the words are like, us, um, are the other way around, so it kind of makes it interesting and what's, to read. what's SEO Trot spelled backwards? Tortoise. Tortoise. And then I like how Mr. Hoppy um, had the love for Miss Silver, and he actually wanted to bond with her. <laughs> I like how he used the tortoise catcher to, like, get... Um, the tortoise, and I like how he like bought all the tortoises, and then after he just kept switching it and switching it and switching it without Miss Silver knowing, so he pretty much kind of lied. <laughs> so what do you like about SEO Trot? I like like the turtle. The turtle. What's his name? Elfie. Elfie. He gets taken away by Mr. Hoppy. Right, and then what What happens when he gets taken away? Mr. Hoppy just keeps bringing... A bigger turtle yeah. that looks like Elfie. Yeah, that's right. Do you like turtles? Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty cute. Do you have any pets at home? 
Um, I will put fish at home. Drum roll, please! And book number one roll doll is... It's Matilda. Matilda? My first favorite book is Fantastic Mr. Fox. Peach and Giant James. James and Giant James. James and the Giant Peach. And this is my most favorite out of all of the Royal Doll books. Do you have a favorite character in Fantastic Mr. Fox? Fantastic Mr. Fox. And why do you like him so much? Because he's smart. How does he take care of his family? He So every night he will ask his, his wife what they want for dinner. And then he will just go take, them, take it. And then the farmers can't even get him. I really like it because of how it was interesting and I like how the BFG actually took care of Sophie and like wanted to hide her away from all of the mean big giants because he was the runt. Mm -hmm. And then I liked how instead of eating people, he gave people dreams and I liked how they had the plan to try to stop all of the mean big giant and how to stop them. And tell me, Anbo, why is Matilda your favorite? She's, I like her because she's smart. She also looks cute. Yeah, she's very cute. What kind of things can she do with her mind? She can move things with her eyes. What, what would you say is your favorite part about Matilda? I like all the parts, they're all interesting. Do you have a favorite character? My favorite character, I like Miss Honey and Matilda. Yeah, and why do you like Miss Honey? She's like beautiful. She's, she's beautiful? Also, she also likes teaching. Yeah, and she's a really good teacher, right? Yeah. Yeah, she's yeah. a really good teacher. Do we like Miss Trunchbull? No. Why? Um, she's mean. She's mean. She's cruel. Yeah, and mean and cruel, that's right. We all wonder, how did she get her job? The Trunchbull uh, grabbed a girl's by the pigtail and then threw her over the fence. And Matilda, what does she do? She likes to read books. Is it your favorite book because it has your name in it? Hmm, let me think for a while. Okay. Is because it, it has oh my name in it. It has your name in it, that's why it's your favorite book? <laughs> well, high five, thank you for sharing your top five.